Welcome to Sunshine Art and Drawing. Today I'm going to be talking about resin pencils. I'm going to talk about the good things and the bad things and maybe you can have a look out for these ones next time you're at the shop and decide for yourself whether or not you want to purchase these. As I'm talking about these, I'm just going to be doing a swatch of each colour of a set of pencils I picked up from the supermarket. These are called Tropicolor 2 and they're made by Bic. Now resin pencils are an interesting subject. They have um, a few good things about them. One, they don't use wood. They're like a plastic wood substitute. And the other part is they're supposed to be stronger than wood. There are many negatives to resin pencils, and that's the reason why I wanted to make this video, because I'm not sure if they've really um, thought this through on what they're doing with these resin pencils. So as I'm doing these swatches you can sort of see that um, the one on the left is like just a light swatch and the one on the right is a swatch with a few layers to try and get as much pigment as possible to see if you can see the true colour matching to the outside of the like pencil. The issue that I'm having with these pencils is that the resin itself is not strong enough to support the internal um, like pigment lead of the pencil. So as you're drawing and as you're pressing with the pencils, you can actually feel the internal core of the pencil break in your hand. Now, the issue with that is that because the pencils are quite hard, you have to press pretty hard to get good pigment out. And you end up denting your paper doing that, but you're also breaking the lead inside, making it horrible to sharpen the next time you go to sharpen because it'll just break over and over. Now, I've got a few of these sets. Um, I have a set of lead pencils, like the graphite pencils. Um, they're called Staedtler Traditional Eco, and they're resin pencils. They're quite thick and they're okay, but they're very hard to sharpen because it is sharpening plastic. Um, I also have a set of the Staedtler Norris Color, which are a resin pencil. They're also okay out of all the resin pencils. They're quite strong and thick, and they've got some weight to them. But I would not recommend any of the big range of pencils that are resin. It'll say on the back whether they're resin and they usually are some sort of like eco or something on the front to let you know that they're environmentally friendly. But the pencils themselves are so weak that um, when you go to uh, press hard on them, the internal core will snap and the actual pencil itself bends. Now I grabbed a little bit of footage here just to show you how weak the pencils are. And I've grabbed a colour I don't really care about, and I'm bending it. You shouldn't be able to do this with a pencil. Look how far I can bend that. So what I'm recommending to do is probably spend your money on something a bit more sturdy. Maybe like a Crayola or even a cheap wooden pencil is more sturdy than this pencil. And as you colour, you have to press quite hard. And that causes the lead to snap and you to dent your paper. So not only are you destroying your artwork by pressing really hard to get the colour payoff, you're also having trouble when you go to sharpen it, the lead inside breaks. So you're sharpening, you go to use it, it snaps. You sharpen again, you go to use it, it snaps. So on and so forth. So it becomes really, really annoying because you're sharpening a pencil halfway down just to get colour out of it. You shouldn't be able to bend a pencil that much. I passed this pencil to my partner and he was able to snap it. He was able to bend it into a circle and then it snapped. So... I've never been able to snap a pencil, um, but these just bend and bend and bend until they become so weak they break. So I would totally recommend to keep an eye out for when you see wood-free resin written on a pencil and maybe choose a wooden pencil until they figure out how to make these pencils a bit stronger. The only good thing about these is they're cheap. You can get a set for under $10 for 24 pencils. That's actually a good price. Um, but other than that, they just break. The lead's broken all the way through, and it's just impossible to sharpen because they're so like hard, they hurt your hands to sharpen. So hopefully you'll take this in mind next time you go to the supermarket, and have a sunshiny day.